Hey, Bear Necessities, we're here. We made it. We're at Disney World. We're so pumped and excited. Uh, we just got checked in at Pop Century, and we are headed off to Animal Kingdom. Keisha, what's our plan today? We don't really have a lot of a plan. We are just going to go and take it easy. We've only got a couple things we want to do, a couple fast passes booked. Um, and so we're just going to kind of see where the day takes us. Yeah, but we're really, really excited to be here. Today we're going to spend some time uh, looking at the animals and stuff at Animal Kingdom. So we're pumped. Sorry for the GPS in the background. There's a lot of construction in Orlando, so we're using that to get around. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll keep you guys updated. I found this Mickey and I absolutely love it. I don't know why. The side of Harambe Market. Yeah, and I don't know what that sign means. But we're right here on the side of Harambe Market. Pretty cool. Keisha, where are we going? There's an ostrich. I don't know if I got it, but there was an ostrich right there. <laughs> yeah, so we love the conservation station. This is the train that takes you out there from Africa to the conservation station. Yeah, and if you have small children, it's also where the petting zoo is, where they have like sheep and goats and things, so you can kids can get some animal interactions. See, oh, there's some rhinos there. You probably can't see them. Maybe we come around this corner. So this goat, they were saying, was having a problem with his teeth and he couldn't eat. So they brought him in and they're working on uh, some dental work on him. It's pretty cool. We've never actually been here when they're working on an animal. Do it! Up at Rafiki's Conservation Station. And now we're headed over to Festival of the Lion King, which is an amazing stage show. Uh, one of our favorite things to do at Animal Kingdom. So we've only got like six minutes to make it there, so we're rushing. So we made it just in time. They were letting 15 more people in. Time for Festival of the Lion King. We just finished up at Lion King. Now it's we awesome. It was amazing it as matter always. How many times you see that show? It is so good every time. It's amazing. So now we're on one of the nature trails, and we found these awesome storks. Saddle build. Saddle build storks. Matt is so excited. We were walking Flick. and randomly saw Flick. It's so nice to meet you. <laughs> Me too. Thank you so much. Can I have a picture? Alright. Oh my gosh, I got to meet Flick! <laughs> oh, it's about Jane Goodall. To honor the likeness of the chimpanzee of David Graveyard. Oh, so this is a special chimpanzee. That's to honor Jane Goodall. His name is David Graveyard the Chimp. Pretty cool. I've never noticed that before. It's a big ball of poo. Still a little lobby, so if everyone can take a giant step. 
All right, so we just finished up It's Tough To Be A Bug, which I absolutely love. My favorite thing about Tough To Be A Bug is like all the people in the theater who don't know what's coming. And like you can tell you're getting their raw reactions to something that's brand new. What do you like about it? Yeah, that you took mine, so that's definitely mine, but it, <laughs> and I think like it's not over till it's over. Yeah. So like at the very end where the bugs run like under your butt, it's yeah. hilarious. Yeah, it's cool. So we just finished that up. Now we're ordering, uh, we're doing mobile ordering for Flame Tree Grill, which is- Barbecue. Uh, barbecue. It's one of the, our favorite quick service restaurants in all of Disney World. It's great. They've got like ribs and barbecue and stuff. So um, mobile ordering is cool though, because you can get online, order, and then you just click I'm here and go to the window and pick it up. And so if there's like a long line for ordering, you don't have to wait in the line. So awesome. yeah, they've introduced that in a bunch of restaurants and Flame Tree is one of them. So we love taking advantage of that. We're really excited. Keisha just found rose gold ears. Yes, they had like a ton of them at this random place like on the side of the walkway and me and like seven other people stopped and were like oh my gosh and so look at me there are those gold ears <laughs> so we're headed over to pandora now to use our fast pass for navi river journey so it's a pretty cool ride we'll get to show you some footage from inside that ride it's got an amazing uh, animatronic shaman so we'll uh, share that with you guys shortly So we're on the uh, Tree of Life Trail, which is just like a nature trail with some uh, animals and wildlife. Ooh, look down here. There's people. Oh, Wild see. people. In Ooh. Natural habitat. And a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> awesome. This is a really good view of some of the animals on the Tree of Life, though. This is the best way to see them. So you can see there's like a little bird down here. A seahorse up there. A squirrel ant, coyote, way more things than I can name. So apparently the tigers are out to play right now. This, this is the crowd. I've waited for this moment for years. I'm so excited. Everything you hoped it would be. <laughs> Just wait for the view. 
so we just finished up riding Everest. I always forget like how incredible of a roller coaster that is. Yeah, it's really awesome and also very scary if you're sitting in the very back. It is. We sat in the back today. I don't think we've ever sat in the very back, so it was pretty cool. Um, we've only got a couple things left to do today. Keisha, what's left? Um, so we have to do Kilimanjaro safaris at night, so we've never done that before. Um, we're going to see Rivers of Light, and then we're also going to take a little visit to Pandora once it's dark, so it's all nighttime fun. Yeah, and then if we got time, we'll also swing by Dinosaur, which is one of my all-time favorites. So Yeah. Yeah, so we're excited to finish up the night, and we'll share the video with you guys shortly. So folks, on our right-hand side, those large horned cattle are known as Ancoli cattle. Those long horns can grow from tip to tip, just about six feet. The smaller antelope species on our left-hand side are known as springbok, and they get their name from their ability to spring six feet in the air repeatedly when they are excited or scared in a behavior known as pronking. And right now, it looks like we are in the midst of a herd of white-bearded wildebeest. So we just finished um, Kilimanjaro safaris at night, which was really fun and different. Um, it's a little different than I thought it would be. Um, everyone says it's like a perpetual sunset, and so they light it to look kind of orange. That's not necessarily true. It was pretty dark most of the time. Yeah. Um, but the rhinos and the lions were more active than they usually are in the morning. Yeah. So, but then some of the other things you couldn't see at all, like the elephants were all gone for the night. Um, the giraffes were getting ready to go in for the night. Um, so I guess it depends on what you want to see. But if you can't go there in the morning, I think it's definitely worth it to kind of see it at nighttime. Yeah, we've always heard that the morning's the best time to do it. Um, but the nighttime definitely offers a different experience. So I recommend doing both if you're able to. Um, we did go through one area where they were like, oh, there's going to be some dangerous animals. And then in the entire area, there were um, two rabbits. storks. So there, there were two storks, two storks and there were bunny rabbits. And, and rabbits. <laughs> so clearly, uh, you know, the nighttime thing is pretty new. So there's still you know, working all that out. But we still got to see, like she said, the rhinos were more active and stuff. So it was pretty cool. Yeah. So now we're heading over to Pandora to see that at night. That's pretty amazing. Look at this stuff. Oh, the mountains, like, lit by black light. Look at the sidewalk. I'll be honest, with the GoPro, I don't know if any of this is showing up, but it looks really cool in person. Thank you guys for checking out our Animal Kingdom video today. That's our absolute favorite park and we got to experience some new things today. We had a really awesome time. So we hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment down below your favorite attraction at Animal Kingdom and make sure you subscribe to the channel so the bare necessities of life will come to you.